Hi, Melissa. Um, I just wanted to know, I really enjoyed your post about setting instructional outcomes. Those are clinchers. Um, we have to know what we're teaching and how to explain it. Um, I've kind of gone and watched a couple of my colleagues teach and they had no clue. It's like they were lost. Um, not calling out coaches, but the people that I noticed more that struggled with their content material were the coaches. And I don't know if it's because they're focused on what's happening on the field versus more than what's happening in the classroom. Um, year before last, when I was at Camden 9 through 12, I pushed in and did inclusion for a lot of my students. And those were the teachers that I saw were struggling the most. So I don't know how we support them into becoming better teachers and explaining it and the gaps in learning. Um, content transformation or, or content learning, it's very different when you're watching somebody who's not in the classroom full time try to deliver a lesson versus somebody who is in the classroom in the full full time. Now, not that I haven't seen some coaches give amazing lessons in their content. Um, it's just the newer te new teacher newer teacher coaches they struggle a bit, and I don't know how we can support them better. Um, but it is content for learning, transforming content into learning. Um, that is the clincher that I that stuck with me from your post. You know, how are we presenting the information? How are the activities we're doing? And are, are they meaningful activities? Or is it just an activity for the sake that we had an activity? Um, I had an activity, we're talking about cell membranes, and I had a water balloon. And I was talking about how cell, the cell membrane is movable and squishable and I popped a water balloon in my lap. It, it was a total accident, but then I was able to see how this cell went membrane weakened and then we went on from there. And it was a total accident, but great teachable moment for cell membranes and how they can break down over time and things like that in my science class for special ed. Um, and I do keep a change of clothes in the classroom, so didn't have to wait until I dried out. But again, thank you, Melissa, for setting those instructional outcomes and how we can use sometimes a mistake in the classroom, like me popping a water balloon in my lap, as more of a learning in reinforcer.